Dad, I love cooking. Like, this looks so yummy. Collard greens. These are the ones I grew in my garden. I also got some from the store because I didn't grow enough to make them because they cook down so much. But these are amazing. We make them all year round. The recipe I have comes from my mother-in-law and my aunt, Tamara's mom's sister. So Auntie Pumpkin and Grandma, thank you for the recipe. My grandma also had a recipe of them too, so I kind of mix them all together. With these, you wash them off first. Basically, you line them up. So you, what we usually do is we'll soak them all. And you soak them in cold water. Or you can just, you don't have a lot, so I don't have to soak them. I can just wash these off. And I, I grew these myself, and they're all organic, so I don't have to worry about anything being on them. Take and you dry them, okay? And now the, the fun part for me is, is actually slicing them. You line them up, so they're all about the same way. Get the, 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 the big, if there's any kind of big uh, stock on them, you take the stocks off, which I kind of already have. Someone took a chunk out of that one. Someone else liked it. <laughs> Somebody likes my greens. Okay, so you line them all up like this, like so, and you can pile them on even more. And then you roll them. Roll them tight, roll them tight, roll them tight. And so obviously you can make these, I mean, you can make this roll real big if you want to. And then you slice. Now the fun part, cook them. I start off with a little bit of oil. But you can use any kind of oil, really. I use Thrive Oil. It's one of many oils you can use. So put oil in the bottom, and that comes the garlic. And you put as much garlic in there as you want. I think the more garlic, the better. What do you think, Rai Rai? The more garlic, the better? Yeah. Yeah. And you can, again, you can make greens any time of the year. It don't have to be for the holidays. It can be summertime. We make them all the time. I'd say probably, what, five or six times a year we'll make a big old batch of greens. There's all, our, there's all our garlic in there. So now I'm gonna cook some of the onion in there as well. Ah. These can be bigger, I cut them in half so they don't have to be chopped up real small. They're gonna cook down also. Get the outer layer off and then just toss them in. That's enough onion for now, we'll add more. Let's see how that, that's gonna caramelize. Put this on here right now and get it going. And the idea with greens is to season them as you go because you're gonna keep adding salt and pepper and different uh, ingredients to it as you go along. This is the next thing goes in there, salted pork. My mother-in-law calls it fat mac, but fat yeah, fat mac. That's what grandma calls it. Yeah, yeah. Yep, but it's salted pork. Mm-hmm. This is a really important ingredient in that, in the greens. So you can put, again, there's no specific amount in here, you can put in as much or as little as you want of any of these things. Um, this brings in some good salt into the flavor. Obviously pork, get that flavor going on. It's already, it's already, you already start smelling it. It's already cooking up. We have to get some flavor in there, get that cooked a little bit, and then next we'll add going and we'll add some of our broth and then water. I use chicken broth, organic chicken broth. You can use pretty much any broth you want to, depending on how you want your greens to taste. That's gonna help keep that from sticking to the bottom too much of the pot. So you can just use water if you want to too. You don't actually have to use broth, but broth just gives it a nice little kit, in my opinion. Nice little extra flavor you're gonna want. And basically, there's no specific measurements to any of this because it's all dependent on how many how many greens you have. So you, the idea is to cover the greens um, with the broth. So right now I've got. Hey, you want to help me out, bud? Yeah, let me get a kitchen towel. Okay, get a kitchen towel. Okay, we're gonna put these in that pot before it gets too hot. That tell pot? Me. Yep. Tell me. Okay. Good job. Dump, 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 dump. And these were all washed and chopped at the time. Because I've already put two chickens in there. I had this organic vegetable broth that I used for a, a soup or something recently. I don't want it to go bad, it's still good. Yep. Put some of that in there too. I only use one box of water. I, I, I like I like the broth. Here's what we do, just cut it. You go just like that. And okay, push it down. Push them all down. Good job, buddy. 
Push them down again more. Okay, one more big thing of them coming. These are gonna cook down big time. So maybe it'll look like it's overflowing at first, but it's really gonna cook, cook down once we get this thing rolling. Ready? Okay. Push, push, push. That's a lot of buckets of um, chicken broth. Isn't it? Look at that. Good job, That's like four bottles of chicken broth. Oh! Well, two of them were half empty, so it's really only three, but. Yeah, we used a lot. There's several different things I put in here. One of them, Auntie Pumpkin, uh, bought this for me when I was in South Florida. It's collard green seasoning. So it's she she swears by this stuff. We have a, obviously have other seasoning we put in there as well, but this is how it starts. Okay, got it. Okay, mix it all in. Now all we have in there is we have garlic, white onion, greens, broth, and a little bit of oil. And we have the salt. This pork. is one of my favorite things. I love the cooking with my dad. Yep, you do. Now I gotta cut the jalapenos. Oh, you got the jalapenos. Yep, you said that. What's it called? Jalapenos. The, the second hottest pepper in the whole entire world. Really? So Aiden's been talking about jalapenos for a while. Jalapeno yeah. and you pepper. Jalapeno. What was that? Jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno Jala peppers. This kid could be confidently wrong. So I put. <laughs> Pepper. <coughs> oh my garden. Woo. So the two whole jalapenos are going to go in there. I de-seeded them just because these will cook down pretty well and give a nice little hot. I'll also add some hot sauce too to the greens. So what are some of the recipes that your families have passed down from generation to generation that you keep doing and what are some of the things maybe you've done to alter them a little bit? Is there any really cool ones that like aunts or uncles won't tell you about or they won't give you the recipe uh, or special ingredients they don't? Uh, tell us in the comments down below. I can tell you, like I said, my mom has done her, one of the recipes she passed down to me was zucchini casserole. My dad was burying this uh, roast, a pork roast or beef roast in salt. I'll probably like that, burying in salt. Burying in salt. You like it burying in salt? Uh, I know another it's, recipe. You like it, it's called big beef. I know. And then and Auntie know, Pumpkin uh, and my mother-in-law, Darlene, passed down this recipe. recipe. How to make cover of beef. Oh, don't. You're picking your nose. I'm sorry. Now you gotta go home and wash your hand again. I can wipe it on my towel. What recipes, Aiden, do you like to make with that? Uh, like probably this recipe. It's this kind one? of fun. What are you older? Do you want to learn how to make this? No, I only I want to know the recipe. I already know how to make my own cheese pizza. Oh, you do? Aiden's, and he did it himself. <laughs> what a beautiful job. It's gonna be piled on there. Are you ready for this? And just go. Why do you have to put so much spinach in here? It's not spinach. This is these are collard greens. So I put Creole seasoning in there. Some Tony Chachery's Creole seasoning. That's a weird chef right there. Uh, that Creole seasoning. Add garlic salt. You know what garlic salt can do to you? Hmm. What? If you put it up to your nose and makes you sneeze. Oh, that would be terrible. Yeah, just like, just like that pepper. Speaking of pepper, I'm gonna add some pepper to this. A little bit of chicken bouillon flavoring. Now, a little bit of liquid smoke. That looks like root beer. I don't mix it up. Oh, it smells like barbecue in there. Doesn't it? That's a good smell, huh? Let's put this on. Good job, bud. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook for a second. While that cooks, there's one more ingredient. Oh, look, it has a little pressure on the top. Yeah. Normally I put smoked turkey wings or drumsticks in there. They didn't have any, so you can use ready? smoked turkey necks. That's a, a really weird shape. It's a weird shape, but turkey. <laughs> Good job. One there. Okay. We have space for two. You want to try this? You want to try some of those greens, babe? No, I think just the turkey. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna all that cook. See all that on. extra fluid in there? We're gonna drain some of that off. In a little bit. I want to get the boiling pretty good. Good job, Captain. We're going to let that kind of come to a boil and then we're going to drain some of the liquid off. Try a little bit of broth. That's good. All right. We'll cut it in here. Sure. How does this look? <laughs> it looks like a big bowl of spinach. You gonna try some? No, I'm good. So now draining some of that, that 
broth down, because it's gonna cook down. You can actually save some of that broth if you want to. Okay, now, so. As the greens keep cooking, you add stuff to it for the flavor. On this one, as it's cooking down, I'm gonna add some paprika. Oops, there it is. That paprika, is a little bit of sugar, and some apple cider, grape cider vinegar will go in there with the greens as they continue to cook. And you add more and more of these spices as you go along because it helps the whole process of cooking greens. It's all about taste. So just keep trying it until the taste is there that you want. All right, we're an hour in. Again, you can let these things cook forever, but this is what they look like so far at the hour point. Take a look at that. They're still can cook down a lot more. The steam, the flavor is amazing. So it's been three and a half hours they've been simmering. I've uh, drained off the fluid a couple of times. You see it can get kind of messy over here. It splatters a bit, but look at that. That's three and a half hours to cook greens. Now you can drain off more of that juice if you want, or in, you know, down the drain, or you can actually you know, put it into a pot as well and use that, and drink the juice directly. It's amazing. Check this out, look at these greens. Look at that. And that is, those are cooked to perfection right there. If you want, you can add some, uh, some, some vinegar to this. Ooh, they smell amazing. You can smell the smoke, you can smell the, the, the fat back in there. You can smell the spices that are in here. Oh yeah, the onion. Oh, I am dark. There's just enough kick to them too, that the two jalapenos, and a little bit of that cayenne pepper in here, it doesn't have that pow right away, but you can, you, in the back of your tongue, after you have that first bite, you can feel it. Mm-mm-mm. When you make a big meal, well, what are some of the side dishes you make? Let us know in the comments down below. Maybe drop a recipe in there too if you want to. Uh, but greens is a staple in our house, and now you know how I make them. Thanks for watching The How's Your Life, and don't forget to subscribe down below.